Little Devil's LDV8 PC case arrived in a rather plain brown cardboard box with no graphics or images on show. The package did, however, arrive in remarkably good condition considering its transatlantic journey via postal service from Slovenia. Inside the box, the case is exceptionally well protected and packaged with thick sheets of high density polystyrene. The case itself is securely wrapped with protective sheeting to prevent any scuffs or scratches during the shipping process. So let's take this case out of the box and have a closer look at Little Devil's LD V8 Enthusiast's PC case. The LD V8 is manufactured from 2mm thick aluminum and comes in a black and red finish, although other finish options are available. The front of the case features mounts for a 140mm ventilation fan, cutouts for on off and reset buttons, a second 140mm fan mount for hard disk drive bay cooling and four 5 inch accessory bays. The rear of the case features a removable accessory plate that contains mounting points for an 80mm ventilation fan and power supply. Other features include 10 PCIe expansion slots, large natural venting grill, input output shield cutout, a mounting point for a 120mm cooling fan and lastly another large natural venting grill. The top of the case has been designed to accommodate four 120mm cooling fans or a quad 120mm radiator if you're a water cooling enthusiast. The bottom of the case features pre-drilled holes for case feet and slots for installing accessory items. The left side of the case has two separate thermal compartments. Both top and bottom side panels are manufactured from 2mm thick aluminum and securely held in place with mushroom type hex head screws. The top side panel also has a large plexiglass window for viewing components within the case. The main motherboard compartment side panel is easy to remove and held in place with 11 M3 screws. Care must be taken when installing or removing these screws, otherwise there is a real danger of stripping threads in the alloy threaded inserts. To add a classy streamlined touch to the plexiglass window, the plexiglass has been precision machined for an exact fit to the side panel cutout. This provides a neat flush quality finish to the side panel. At the front of the motherboard compartment you have four five and a quarter inch accessory drive bays and the hard disk drive cage. The hard disk drive cage can hold up to five three and a half inch hard disk drives and to ensure the drives remain cool, the case front panel also includes mounting screws for a 140mm cooling fan. The motherboard tray is captive, non-removable and compatible with ATX, EATX and XL ATX form factors. The motherboard tray comes with a large CPU socket cutout. This provides access to the rear of the CPU socket for maintenance and CPU cooler upgrades. For neat cable management, the motherboard tray has nine large cutouts or pass-throughs and three large cutouts in the compartment's base plate for additional cable management or water cooling hose routing. The motherboard compartment's base plate also contains a cooling vent for the power supply and two additional pass-throughs for small cables or water cooling hoses. The right side panel is a full coverage 2mm thick aluminum panel and again held securely in place with 11 M3 screws. To assist in managing bulky cables in this section of the case, LD's V8 provides a generous 3 quarters of an inch or 18 millimeters of clearance between the side panel and the rear of the motherboard tray. Looking from the rear of the motherboard tray, you have easy access to the rear of the CPU socket, cable pass-throughs and large cable well for bulky cable management. You also have clean access to the rear of the hard disk drive cage and top mounted 5 1⁄4 inch accessory bays. On the base of the hard disk drive compartment you have an additional large pass through for cables or water cooling hoses. At the bottom of the case you have a thermal bay. 
The side panel for the thermal bay is manufactured from 2mm thick aluminum, is securely attached to the main case's frame with 10 M3 screws and extremely well ventilated for optimum compartment cooling. The bottom thermal bay is separated from the main case to isolate heat from liquid cooling equipment and prevent it from affecting any motherboard or graphic card components. Within the thermal bay you have a power supply support and two water cooling radiator mounts for 120mm triple radiators. You also have an accessory box but we'll come back to this box in a moment and have a closer look at these accessories. To boost thermal bay ventilation and cooling, the front of the bay features a mount for a 140mm cooling fan and the rear of the bay has a mount for an 80mm cooling fan. And now to the accessory box. The accessory box for the LDV8 contains the following items. 10 PCIe expansion slot filler plates, illuminated on off and reset buttons, accessory case feet screws and fan mount nuts, motherboard standoffs and motherboard screws, hard disk drive mounting screws and shock mounts. This kit contains enough components to mount a total of five three and a half inch hard disk drives and finally machined aluminum case feet and anti-scuff felt pads. Mounting three and a half inch hard disk drives within the hard disk drive cage is an easy process. However, if you're an SSD fiend and want to go all solid state, the LDV8 holds a stealthy surprise. The base of the motherboard compartment has been engineered to accommodate four 2.5 inch SSDs. And for all you enthusiasts who are absolutely barking mad, the rear of the motherboard tray can also accommodate an additional quad of awesomeness. In all, eight SSDs for some crazy fun. So let's take the LD V8 case and cram it full of some wicked hardware. Overall, I was extremely impressed with the Little Devil's LD V8 PC case. The high quality fit and finish of the panels, isolated water cooling thermal bay, well positioned pass throughs and ability to install up to 8 SSDs makes this an absolutely phenomenal enthusiast PC case. The Little Devil LD V8 PC case is 100% Troubadour approved. 
For more information on the LDV8 case, feel free to check them out at www.frozencpu.com. Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube or feel free to swing by our forums at www.troubadourforums.com where only the true enthusiasts hang out.